Hello everybody, I'm Ivera2405 on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on TikTok. Yeah, for those of you trying to purchase an artwork, you send me a message on Ivera2405, that's my Instagram, 2405. Then for those of you here for the tutorial, welcome to my channel, it's good to have you here. For my previous subscribers, welcome, I really do love you guys and I appreciate all your interactions in my videos, your comments. And thank you for those of you who purchased my artworks. So I'll be talking you through the finishing of this piece. So if you're here for a tutorial, I'm sure you already do know how to draw. So for the colors of this art, for the colors of this piece, I use yellow ochre. There's this brownish kind of yellow, and that's mostly a color I use for every part of the skin. Then actual brilliant bright yellow. Then I made brown, mixing red, yellow, and blue. Then I made orange separately. Then for the for the then the yellow ochre for the highlight part of the hair i used the yellow ochre and a little bit of white and like for for the hairs i use more of white for the highlight part then the, what you see as black there is not really black it's actually black though but i mixed a portion of the black with for the shadow part a portion of the black with the dark brown i made for the shadow part yes then any other part that looks something like green, I use yellow and black for it. I didn't really use black directly on it. Then the teeth is yellow ochre and brown and white. The tongue is orange. I didn't use, okay, I think, a little bit of pure red on the top, like the left side of the tongue. Let's put it like that. Yeah, but the down part of the teeth, orange, yellow ochre, the eyes are brown, and a little bit of the white and yellow ochre mixed to highlight it. That part that brings life to the eye. Yes. That part that brings life to the eye. So for this other part, I kind of slowed down the video a bit so you guys see. I didn't I didn't learn any of this, so I'm not sure I'm the I can do a step-by-step -step tutorial for anyone. I just like I could talk you through what I did. And that's the best i could do for you i feel you should explore your gifts explore processes that work for you then if you need tips and if you need tips and maybe actual tutorials there's some of my videos they are actual tutorials like my spray paints they're actually full tutorials for it well any of this kind of work i just i kind of go with the flow i do what i feel so yes i don't know how to explain that one for you guys this is the actual video of how it was and i was making it so yes this is just how i felt and that's just what i did I thought about it. I even use the paper, like the canvas, as my palette. I don't really have a pa I don't make use of palette. I find it unnecessary. I just find a space in a in the canvas and like mix my colors on top of it when it's still on the ground. I paint on the ground in my room. I really like painting free. I get undressed, I paint on the ground in my room. Then when I'm done with the painting, when I feel it looks how I, I desire it to be, then I take a tack pin and nail it to a board. Then I find like my easel and i make a, a video then a finishing up tutorial for you guys so yes the whiskers is not specifically white is i i even drew some like i don't I, I don't think this lion could have let me do white on the whiskers it's it would have mixed with any other color so i just made this of my brush this the whole of this painting is just two brush i use a very tiny brush but not the tiny tiny the smallest type of but like i think I don't know the numbers. My brush bag is a little bit far from here right now. Then a flat brush, and that's just it. The flat brush was for every part of the hair. I didn't mix my colors in a way that I'm trying to like get the colors even tone. Like I like I mix the colors in a way whereby if the colors have not like balanced to a particular color, that's when I feel it's okay to me because of the hair of the lion. Yes. Yeah, so let's see if I was mixing red and yellow now for orange. I'll have just mixed it like for just some minutes, so it doesn't like mix completely then i when it's still showing a little bit of red and a little bit of orange and i use it like that i just apply it on the skin the little bit of yellow the little bit of red gives like highlights for me so every color i mix there i didn't really mix it completely so it gives like hair effects for me you get so yes for the yellow and black i had to like for the finishing i use a spray paint i don't think it's wise for me to make use of my black and the black i used for this was lamp black paint is really expensive over this way in nigeria it's kind of annoying now but it's really super expensive so yeah i don't think it's advisable for me to like use my lamp black and like use a lot of it because this is a three feet three feet it's actually really huge so it wouldn't be wise of me to use my lamp black for like all of it you get yeah 
so i spray painted the edges and it kind of like centered the line and it brought out the beauty of the painting and i don't know how I, I felt very happy with the results it just crossed my mind now i could have used mission brown spray paints for it too but now nah, the black is okay it kind of like gave this vignette kind of vibe vignette i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but i keep calling it vignette like it centers the work so yes i like it and that's how i left it centers the work and it helped with the outlining of the lip and the lion if you notice very well so what do you guys think about this for those of you trying to purchase my art pieces leave me a message on ivera2405 on instagram or you leave a comment down below i love each and every one of you and thank you for being here on my page do have a wonderful day